Testing new ideas is an operation which applies, of course, to every industry. And before you assume that this young lady wears her stockings over her shoes all the time, let's assure you she was merely testing their durability. Reason for our interest is that most stockings are, in fact, individually knitted, and few people have seen them made in this way. this Hendon factory, there's little indication at the outset that stockings are the end product. The nylon fabric is cut in layers, 72 at a time, and each layer will make up 60 dozen pairs of stockings. To understand the basic difference between this new process and the usual method, we should explain that the fabric used here was also knitted, but with a double locking stitch so complicated that no stocking machine has yet been designed to tackle it. In fact, five times as many needles are required. Consequently, it is knitted in rolls, and from those, the stocking shapes cut out. At this stage, the specially made foot is sewn to the leg. This new measuring machine provides a simple answer to the eternal problem of matching pairs. A cactus is not normally used as a hanger, perhaps, but here it provides another test for finding any possible flaws. And the reason they don't ladder or hole, we're told, is that four threads would have to go in one place, which apparently very rarely happens. Designers Oler and Bernard Scott claim that with rigorous tests like these, they will give months of carefree wear. Yet nails and cacti are one thing. What we want to know is when is someone going to invent a stocking that doesn't ladder the minute our wives put their feet through. <laughs> 